What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jace 2 Wrestling, and today we are back with another action figures review. So, um, last video I did, we did a, um, the review on Elite Series 98 Rick Boogs, and I believe this is the only figure I have out of Elite Series 98, but let's bump it up a notch, and let's today review Elite Series 99 Matt Riddle and Happy Corbin. So, this video is going to be somewhat interest or yeah interesting because this is my first ever Corbin figure, um elite figure I should say. Um I do have a basic um Corbin that I got back in like 2018 for Christmas and I still have it and I have every figure that I've had before. Um and then now to have an elite Corbin years later is going to be pretty nice. I don't have a King Corbin, I don't have an elite Baron Corbin, but now I have the elite Happy Corbin and bum ass Baron Corbin. Two in one. And then we have the Elite Series 99 Matt Riddle. So I have the two other Matt Riddle Elites, but I'll show you I'll show you them as soon as we get to unboxing these figures. So let's get the spinny disc out of the ring and let's crack open the first figure. Alrighty, first figure I'm going to crack open is the obviously Elite Series 99. 99 Matt Riddle. So let's start off with the box review real quick. So late series 99 elite logo WWE logo Here is the figure and I can see that there is an accessory of a scooter in there, which is going to be pretty sick and then we have the um, uh, Matt Riddle image right here his name his full name actually Matt Riddle not just Riddle because I believe the elite series Yeah, the late series 88 Riddle only has the riddle on there and I don't know I'm used to saying riddle because I'm not used to saying Matt Riddle I always used to say Matt Riddle but then they got me saying riddle which is not good but right here we have the um, Matt Riddle image right there with the WWE logo right there and the series and then Matt Riddle's name right there so backside name right up there elite logo on um, where is uh, where he's from height weight and finisher the bro Derek um, then we have the riddle image right there and it shows the Raw Tag Team Champion. I wish it came with, like, the Raw Tag Team Champion because I feel like that's just, don't know, like, false advertising. But then we have all of his career highlights in there, some text about that. And then we have the rest of the series right here. So we have Elite Series 99, Seth Rollins, Riddle, Lesnar, Corbin, Boogeyman, and Queen Zelina. And I'm hoping to get all these guys. I am, and gals. And I'm hoping to get like this Brock Lesnar right here and the Boogeyman because I, because like I've always wanted the Boogeyman since that um I think the Elite Series 46 Elite could be wrong, but this Seth Rollins head scan is not as good as the newest um, Elite, which is this one right there. And I wish they I can always swap it out with that one, but whatever. And then this Brock Lesnar I really want. I just want to start collecting Elite Brock Brock Lesnar's, but yeah. So there you have it. And then yeah. So hopefully my camera doesn't die on me like it already did or my phone or whatever you like to call it so let's crack this thing open so um wait hold on before i crack this open i i almost forgot so i have the past two elite riddles so first i have the elite series 77 matt riddle this was matt riddle not riddle this was a matt riddle back in i think nxt so about this so as soon as I got this Elite Series 99 Riddle, I'm like, you know what? One day I'm going to have a shelf on my wall, and I want to have all the Riddle Fudge Matt Riddle Elite on my shelf. And I was already late to the chase for the Elite Series 78 Matt Riddle. So I did some digging online, and I came across eBay, and this one guy was doing this like bidding, this auction thing, whatever. And it was at like fifteen, so I went up a dollar fifty, and I paid sixteen dollars and fifty cents for this Matt Riddle right here, which came. It's all like white gear right here, um, but this Riddle was not a double jointed elbow. It's just a single jointed elbow, and it came with some quite accessories. It did not come with all the interchangeable hands, which I'm disappointed, but whatever. Now I have the first ever Elite Matt Riddle, and then. Going into that, I have the second Elite, and this one I did not have the box in, it just came like like this, wrapped in bubble wrap and whatever. And then second is the Elite Series 88 um, Riddle, because that one was Matt Riddle, this one's Riddle. And it came with the blue and orange attire right here with the black uh, sandals. And then 
I do have the box of this because I did buy this off of Ringside Collectibles, I'm pretty sure. And then now I have the Elite Series 99. And if Mattel was smart, they would have did Elite Series 78, Elite Series 88, and Elite Series 98. But they decided to whatever. 99, but who cares. But I just wanted to share that real quick to make the video somewhat longer than usual. But yeah, so then now I have all the Matt Riddle Elites. And I also do have a Matt Riddle Basic, which is stuffed in my drawer right here. And I think this is his first ever um, Basic right here. So... I'm not sure if there's another Matt Riddle basic. I'm 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 not sure, but uh, there I could be wrong, but yeah, so that I can say that I have all the Matt Riddle action figures. So now let's crack open this Matt Riddle Elite before my camera decides to shut off on me again and then I have to do this awkward thing over. So, so there you have it. Alright, so let's crack this box open. All righty, here we go. All righty, so let's start off with the interchangeable hands. All right, there you have it. So right here we have the looks like the like the Randy Orton like because um obviously this is uh, Matt Riddle once he was a part of RK Bro, and I think he's taking over Randy Orton's like signature like whatever hand sign they do whatever i'm not sure what that's called but that's what that interchangeable hand is and i don't think i think the randy orton that what was that elite series 90 randy orton i think he came with interchangeable hands like that but i could be wrong but then here is the interchangeable hands of like R riddles goatee interchangeable or hand signal whatever so like the the bro derek or whatever <laughs> i don't know that's weird all righty so let's crack open this riddle right here oh yeah this is nice let's get the scooter out of here first hopefully it doesn't break let's break the handle please oh thank god all righty so let's get this off so right here we have the riddle scooter so like in my shows if i ever get the shows i can have riddle just riding down the aisle i think like it's a pretty flexible scooter if you ask me the wheels do move, but not really. It's it's just an action figure. I got a scooter, whoop de doo But you know what? I have a scooter in the collection. Not I would have never thought that I would have had a scooter in my collection. But here, I'll, let's start off with the hat. So right here we have the come on the RK Bro logo right there with the um, snake and then the RK Bro hat right there. It's really hard to see. I can't even barely see it. But, yeah, so it's an RK Bro hat. And then coming down, let's start off with the head scan. So, hold on. I want Okay, so the head scan of Elite 88 and um, 99 are obviously different because his teeth are showing in this one. and Or in this one, and his teeth are not in this one. But looks like the same, like, hair, kind of. But, I don't know. This one could be a tad bit darker, but I could be wrong. But... Oh, wait, wrong hat. What the heck? All right. All right, so coming down, we have a great head scan. So the, the third ever um, Matt Riddle Elite head scan right here. Coming down, we have the Hey Randy um, purple and green shirt right there. Uh, all the way around. Coming down, we have more of a black and dark red and maroon type of a thing gear right there. All the way around, we have the Riddle right in the back. Coming down, we got interchangeable uh, knees, and then we have the the black sandals, which now I have two pairs of black sandals and one pair of white sandals, and this one is interchangeable, or not interchangeable, but double jointed elbows right there, which is pretty nice. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. Now I have three of three of three Riddle Elites. So here are the three um, Matt Riddle Elites. In one image right there so the least here's 78 88 and 99 uh, riddle right here pretty six can't wait to get a shelf up in my room so then I could put these guys right on the shelf right next to each other and just start a collection and when there's future riddles I'm for sure getting them because I'm gonna do the same thing with um Austin theory because I have his first ever elite 
and then I'm going to have his upcoming Elite that's going to come up, and then I'm going to do a review on that, and it's going to be awesome. But there you have it, um, Elite Series 99 Riddle. Uh, you know what? Why not? Let's just take it off right now. So um, we have seen this body um, sculpture already. This is the same formula almost. Got that mushroom tat. I think it's a mushroom. I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. There's a tattoo right there. Um, and this one, he does not have a ankle bracelet, it looks to see, because on his, on his other two, he has them, that blue and purple, like, ankle bracelet right there, but then you can see with this one, he does not, so that is something new about the newest Riddle Elite, but, there you have it, um, Elite Series 99, Matt Riddle, so, now, let's get the other action figure in i suppose so all right so i'm gonna get this um figure and all the accessories out and then we can move on and crack open the elite series 99 happy corbin all right guys next figure we have the elite series 99 of course it's elite series 99 of course it is it's elite series 99 episode but we have the elite happy corbin but before i crack open this thing i almost forgot in the last scene that the elite series um 78 riddle that i one off auction came with the NXT Tag Team Championship. And this one is obviously looks longer than all the other belts. Because if you can see, I don't know. I don't know. If, I'm not sure if this is how the belt was made, but right here, come on. it The end looks longer because it looks like they fused like another. Come on, focus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Kind of looks like they like fumed on like another end for like the belt right here but i don't know it could be like the guy who did it if you like fused it on so they can like wrap around his whole body right there like he always does or the belt came that way but i'm not i don't recall this figure coming with a championship but i could be wrong well yeah that's what i forgot but that's on the last scene let's worry about the next scene so right here we have elite series 90 of course my it's elite series 99 what else is it going to be all right so we have elite um happy corbin um there was a basic um corbin action figure but i did not pick it up because i'm not really a basic collector anymore so you know let's just stop the jibber jabbering and let's cut open this figure and you know what i also forgot one more thing of course all right <laughs> box review all right, so of course, all that stuff up there. We have the Happy Corbin. Oh, I can't talk. I'm talking too fast. We have the Happy Corbin image right there. His name, image right on the side, the WWE logo, and then Happy Corbin name right there, and then right the back, name yada yada from height, weight, finisher. His accomplishments. Um, his accomplishments. Talking too fast. Um, some text about Corbin, whatever, and then obviously the series, what we already went over. So. You know, I'm just too impatient because I just want to get this crap. I just want to feel this figure in my hands. Anyways, I'm kind of on the timeline right now because I got to get somewhere in about 30 minutes. And I don't think I'm going to have it all edited up by now, but then who cares? Alrighty. So. Oh, sh that's a knife. All right. Oh, let's start off with the interchangeable hands right here. So right here we have the two Mike holding. Let me fix the lighting i gotta get this undertaker boot out of the way all right so right here we have two mic holding interchangeable hands right there for the happy corbin let's start off with the head scan so right here we have the bum ass baron corbin head scan right here which is when he obviously was brokey and he has some hair on top that he needs to shave off and that does not look like a pleasant Happy Corbin face right there. This is Bum Ass Baron Corbin. So we got a two in one. So honestly, this is Happy Corbin and Bum Ass Baron Corbin in one figure. Um, how does this work? Is this taped on from the back? Oh, it is. Holy crap. All right, well, this is going to be a hassle. Come on. Why didn't they just... Alrighty guys, so the video just cut off and I'm not sure where I left off because I was talking for quite a bit. But I think we left off at this point right here. So, let's just start off where we were. So right here, I'm not sure if I already said this already, but if I already said it, oh well, you're going to hear it again. So right here we have the um, white uh, 
just the white shirt, I suppose, with the ketchup stand on it. So, um, so I watched the MDT video before, or in the past when they were doing the um, review on this elite. They were talking. He was talking about how um, he didn't really like that ketchup stain right there in the shirt, and if you like, it should have like they should have like had it just all white, and they could have made their custom um, ketchup stain on it. But I think that. Honestly, having the ketchup stand on it, it would just, one, save me time, and then, two, like, I can always bleach it out if I wanted to, like he said, and just have that as a white shirt, but, like, I don't know. I think I'm always just going to use it as the bum-ass band Corbin, but I think I left off talking about this head scan right there, so if you didn't really get to see the full thing right there before I cut out, um, there it is. And that was like all my fear is just unboxing a figure and the camera just cuts out, which I am so happy. So then, or I'm so sad or whatever I said. So let's get into the main point of this figure. Alrighty, so, wow, this is a real just holding a Corbin figure. So about this Corbin figure, um, I don't think I have, I have never seen a Corbin figure in person and I really haven't paid attention to the head scans, but let's just talk, like start off with this white, um, rich white hat right here that he has. Um, it could go on this bum ass man Corbin head scan, but nah. All right. So coming down, we have a phenomenal head scan right there. Like, I'm not sure if there's any other better ones, but I, I almost came close to getting the King Corbin elite, but I just bummed out or <laughs> yeah, no pun intended, but I bummed out and I, um, didn't get it, but whatever, it's fine. But this head scan right here, absolutely phenomenal. Just clean for, or clean head right here. Um, this the tattoo right there on the side, just, just a clean figure, just a clean head scan right there. Coming down, we have the black and orange flowered, like rich, like t-shirt, like a summer t-shirt type of a thing. And then we have the detailed, um, tattoos right there in his arm. And then we have the, um, open hand interchangeable hands. This figure is very poseable, which is very nice. We got the double jointed elbows and that nice crunch chest right there with the flower and the chains on the back. It looks like, and then coming down, we just have the, just the black pants right there, double jointed knees, and then the black boots right there. Nothing so amazing, but what I do want to, like, what I want to do is put the bum ass Baron Corbin head scan and then put the white shirt on to see how that looks so well, I'm gonna do it right here and oh before I get into that I'm just saying that I was also watch when I was watching that um MDT video when he was doing the review on this like when you put the shirt on the Corbin you're gonna kind of see this but I'm gonna try to see and if I can like debunk that but I'm not sure that's really debunkable but Let's slip this in here, and not the right kind of head scan, or whatever, <laughs> interchangeable hands to do that, but let's see. And I'm always scared of like ripping or like loosening an arm when I'm doing this, but this one's more like soft and not rubbery, so it's going to be somewhat fine, but all right. And I don't know if I already said this already, but I'm kind of in a rush because I got to be somewhere in about 30 minutes, 30 to 20 minutes, and... I'm going to try to finish up this video. I'm not really sure if I'm going to, like, like edit it, but I'll get it uploaded eventually. So, or there we have that. I'm not sure if the collar comes down, I'm thinking. And then let's pop up this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Come on. Get on there. Alrighty. There you have it, the bum-ass Baron Corbin Elite right there. And I kind of get what he means because you can kind of see, like, some of the black shirt right there. And, like, obviously, oh, this is a, it's a rich dude, like, posing to be poor to get more money <laughs> type of thing. But, I don't know, this will do. It will be good enough, I suppose. And, well, there you have it. So, the interchangeable uh, bum-ass Baron Corbin, the sad face with the non-shaved hair right there and not so clean head scan it's a pretty clean head scan but like obviously he wasn't clean while in this so there you have it um happy corbin elite right there so i'm gonna kind of wrap this up pretty quick and oh wow look at that bum ass has become rich but obviously he is he is rich but not happy and also just 
I'm just going to say it. Um, hold on. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I was just informed that I have to get going. So um, I'm going to finish up this video like real, real quick. Get this head scan on right there. So there you have it, the bum ass. And I'm going to get the um, spinny disc in the ring. You know, I'm going to do that right now while I'm talking. And you guys are going to see how I set up my um, figures. So there you have it. I'm, you know, I'm just going to show you behind the scenes of what I do right here. Because I'm going to have to do this pretty quick. I ain't obviously I ain't obviously gonna get it um up and like uploaded and edited because I kind of need to get this stuff done right now and I would have done this a lot better if I knew that I had enough time to do it and I'm gonna okay come on just start 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 come on start where's the button where's the button oh thank God all right so I'm gonna put oh no come on come on come on hey if I gotta go man. Come on, Riddle, you're screwing everything up for me. I'm not sure if that will stay up, but I'll... there you go. I'm going to put the Hey Randy. So this is a quick Jace Tube Wrestling um, review right here behind the scenes. Um, I always, come on, come on, hurry up. Put the hat on then. Ha, there you go. And then the... Bum ass Baron Corbin shirt right there. Come on, I got it. See, usually I'm quiet and I'm not talking to myself when I'm putting the stuff up, but whatever. Um, and I really love the time to put this in the box. That's what I'm gonna do it anyways, just to save time later. All right, let's do that. Now you get to see a clear view of the back of the box. So, J-Street back, uh, j -Tube Wrestling behind the scenes. Right here, come on, come on, come on. Alrighty. There you guys have it. Um, Elite Series 99, Happy Corbin, Bumass Corbin, and Matt Riddle. Um, sorry I'm in a rush and I wish I could have done this a lot better sooner, but honestly, who cares? Um, the next video I'm going to do is the Royal Rumble um, predictions, and I'm going to obviously be doing that on Wednesday or Thursday because I'm going to be gone Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off on a camping trip, a winter camping trip because I'm more up north, and um, it's, I'm pretty bummed that I'm not going to be able to see the Royal Rumble, and this is going to... I rumored to be one of the best Rumbles ever or one of the best Rumbles I'm going to see ever, so... Um, sorry I couldn't say much information because I really have to get going and I'm just going to be putting stuff away while I talk. So then, um, yeah, so you have it. Um, it's always nice. Obviously, it's a grand, um, grand figures to have in the collection. I have my third Matt Riddle Elite and I'm going to obviously be getting more in the future once they release more, but... There you have it, guys. Um, I'm going to end it off and wrap it up really quick. And I'm probably going to sh be shutting off lights while I go. So, adios, goodbye, and see you in the next one.